Good day students. Welcome to Gimora State College, the College of Business and Management. My name is Michael Victor Gonzalez. I'm a licensed real estate broker and also a licensed agriculturist. I will be your instructor for the subject M319 Agribusiness. This module uh, will provide an introduction to agribusiness management principles application of economic principles, budgeting techniques, and principles of strategy and agribusiness. Emphasis is given to the financial and tax management strategies and the requirements imposed on agribusiness management by local, state, and federal government regulatory agencies. When you finish this module, you should be able to Number one, to engage students in agribusiness learning, discovery, and problem solving with innovative creativity. To provide the students with advanced business knowledge and skills necessary to function as an effective leader, a manager, or a team member. To enable the students to develop their abilities to analyze, evaluate, and synthesize information and also to provide opportunities for students to engage in the discovery and understanding of agriculture, business, and entrepreneurship knowledge that are both thought-provoking and relevant. To engage students in project-based learning relevant to the study and understanding of agribusiness. To engender an awareness of open-minded evaluation of different opinions. So first, we are going to uh, discuss the introduction of agribusiness. So, introduction to agribusiness management is the business sector encompassing farming and farming-related commercial activities. So we have three steps to send an agricultural good to the market. So agribusiness is involves all the steps that are required to send an agricultural good to the market. So first is production. Second is the processing. And the third is the distribution. So this is part of production. You can see uh, this is the rice harvester. And also, this is also the example of uh, production in cattle raising. Second is production in free-range chicken. And also, if you can see, this one is the example of uh, production of lettuce. Uh, and here, using a advanced technology in producing um, vegetables. So these are the examples of processing. Uh, the picture in the left shows the processing of uh, packing the rice, and uh, in the right in the in the right side is the processing of the vegetables to the market. And after the processing, uh, this one is the example of processing of cattle meat in the left side. And in the right side, if you can see, this is the, a very huge operation in the processing of chicken uh, broiler meat. The third is the distribution. This is the, the, the method for which our uh, agricultural products will be able to reach to the consumers. This is the local setting. Uh, we can see this in the in our market. This is the picture we can see. Uh, this is the example of meat distribution. Properly packed. If we go to the grocery stores. So, agribusiness is an important component of countries with arable land, since agricultural products can be exported. 
So then we will going to discuss the agribusiness tra uh, treats the different aspects of raising agricultural products as an integrated system. So in this diagram, it shows how agribusiness integrate each components. So you have the soil management and fertility. So in soil management fertility, we make sure that the soil is uh, rich, rich in uh, important elements that are necessary to produce a healthy crops. So it also follows the crop health and protection. So and also the pollution control and byproducts management and it follows by the animal husbandry, energy efficiency, water management, landscape and nature conservation, community engagement, and organization and planning. So this is how integrated is agribusiness management. So in here, uh, farmers raise the animals and harvest fruits and vegetables with the help of sophisticated harvesting techniques including the use of GPS to direct harvesting operations. So in this picture, you can see this is a very advanced uh, poultry, a very sophisticated poultry farm. So in this uh, illustration, a uh, adva advanced machine, uh, the harvest, uh, it harvests the fruits using this uh, very sophisticated harvesting techniques. So it lessened the, the number of laborers and it increased the efficiency of harvesting. Processing, processing plants determine the best way to clean and package the livestock for shipping. So if you can see in this uh, picture, it has, it has a very advanced um, management for cattle handling. While each subset of the industry is unlikely to interact directly with the consumer, each is focused on operating efficiently in order to keep the prices reasonable. So if you can see this picture, um, despite of how many cattle or how many ships, it can be managed by one person using this very advanced technology so that it can save a lot of resources save a lot of money and also it could save um, it, because it is very efficient uh, it, it, it increases the number of, uh, of ships or cattle that can be carried and in that case the profit will increase then we're going to discuss the market forces so the market force has a, have a very significant impact on the business sector. So, as we discuss it further, so changes in consumer taste alter what products are grown and raised. So, if you go to the supermarket, there are a lot of products that you have to be chosen from. So, you need to think. So, the, cha the taste of the consumer are always changing. So that in that way, it alters what are products to be grown. So, for example, a shift in consumer taste away from a red meat may cause demand and prices for the beef to fall, while increase in demand for product may shift the mix of fruits and vegetables that farmers raise. So it is always goes to the consumer's preference. So business or businesses unable to rapidly change in accordance to domestic demand may took to export their products abroad, but if they fail, they may not be able to stay in business. So that, that is how important it is for every farmers to, to be aware of the of the consumer's preference so that Whatever the product that they produce should be in line on what is in demand during this time. Countries with farming industries are facing consistent pressures from global competition. 
So let's go in, let's discuss it further. So the products such as wheat or corn and soybean, uh, soybeans tend to be similar in different locations, making them commodities. Remaining com competitive requires agribusiness to operate more efficiently, which can require investment in new technologies, new way of fertilizing, watering crops, and new ways of connecting to the global market. Global prices of agricultural products may change rapidly. Making production planning is complicated activity. So if you can see in the illustration how the, pro the how the agricultural products and the prices and the prices change dramatically. So it is a very complicated uh, in terms of planning. So the farmers may, may also face a reduction in usable land as suburban and urban areas move into their areas. So in our time you can notice there are a lot of subdivisions are being developed and our agricultural lands are being converted into a residential and in that case our food baskets are getting smaller our agricultural land getting smaller and in that case our food supply are at risk the agribusiness system in agribusiness it refers to the business of farming so yes although uh, the term is not often used in correlation with actual, actual farms instead the term agribusiness most commonly means an agriculturally related business that supplies farm inputs such as farm machinery and seed supply. The term agribusiness is also used to describe a business that are involved in the marketing of, of farm products such as warehouse, wholesalers, processors, retailers, and more. Use of the term agribusiness by critics or of, of, corp of corporate farming has created an aura of negativity around the term. Although the true definition, it simply, def it simply provides a nice shorthand way of saying a business is agriculture related. Agribusiness can be split into three economically interdependent sectors. So the number one is the input sector or farm supplies. The input sector provides supplies of inputs, which include seed, fertilize, uh, seed a fertilizer, chemicals, machinery, fuel, and feed. To farmers for production of crops and raising a livestock. Next is the farm sector or farming. The farm sector produces crops and animals or livestock products. So in this picture you can see this is the example of the of the farm sector. Uh, it is it it raises a cattle. This is a cattle farm, a very uh, big cattle farm. And third is the product sector or the processing. The product sector processes and distributes the crops and livestock products to the final consumers. So, agribusiness is an important sector of economy, wherein the production and distribution of inputs to farmers and production, marketing, processing, and the distribution of farm products to the final consumers take place. Then we will go to define uh, the origin and definition of agribusiness. So the definition of agribusiness was first coined by John H. Davis, who was Assistant Secretary of Agriculture in America. He described agribusiness as the, uh, all the activities concerned with agriculture. These activities include farming, 
management, financing, processing, marketing, and many more. John Davis and Ray Goldberg, way back in 1957, defined agribusiness as the sum total of all operations involved in the manufacture and the distribution of farm supplies, production operations on the farm, and the storage, processing and distribution of farm commodities and items made from them. Agricultural economists defined agribusiness as all business enterprise that buy from or sell to farmers. The transaction may involve a product or a commodity or a service and encompasses contains items such as productive goods, services like feed, seed, fertilizer, equipment, energy, and machinery. Agricultural commodities like food and fiber, and also the facilitative services like credit, insurance, marketing, storage, processing, transportation, packaging, distribution, and others. So that is all for now for our video. Uh, we will going to discuss the scope of agribusiness for our next topic. So stay tuned and thank you.